Hello and welcome to this tutorial about creating a whiteboard animation in Blender with the Grease Pencil tool, which you can activate by holding down the D key on your keyboard and then you can just start drawing. And I have a pressure sensitive tablet here and as you can see Blender will recognize the pressure sensitivity. If you don't have a tablet, don't worry, you can also use just a regular computer mouse. So I will undo those strokes and let me show you the reference image that I have prepared. So we can uh, use all kinds of reference images to help us with our drawing. And these reference images won't be visible in the final render. They will just guide us a little bit. And I won't probably do this part uh, to save some time, but I will definitely do all this and then the uh, recycling symbol here. So, uh, to get started, let's go to Blender. I will delete the default cube because I don't need it. And then I will press numpad 1 to go to front view and 5 to go to the orthographic mode. And then I can just drag and drop my reference image here. And there it is. Then I will open up my sidebar here and we can create a new grease pencil layer, which I will call maybe Earth OL for outline. And here we can control the thickness of our stroke. And here on the other side in the grease pencil settings, we can set it to continuous drawing so that uh, we don't have to keep holding down the D key. We just hold it once and start drawing and then we can release the D key. So now I will simply get closer to my, my earth graphic here and I will start the drawing by holding down the D key and then starting my uh, line and then I can release the D key and I will just trace this around and Blender has some new nice features uh, that let you easily sculpt or modify your stroke if you're not happy with it. So I can enable editing here and for example I can use the smooth tool if I hold down the E key on the keyboard then I can just kind of go around this and use the smooth tool to, to smooth it out. I can also increase the strength of the smooth tool a little bit so that it's more obvious what it's what it's doing. I'm kind of going for a pretty organic hand-drawn feel so I don't want to smooth this out too much. I will though grab it just a little bit here again by holding down the E key to make it a little bit more round. All right that's good enough for now and then I will next create the country outline so let's create a new layer here and I will call this country outline or OL. Let's uh, make this a bit bigger so we can see it better. And then I will simply start drawing again. I hold down the D key and start my stroke. And I don't have to hold the D key anymore once I have started. And I will just trace this quickly. And I will speed this up so that you don't have to wait uh, while, I'm, while I'm doing this. Then I will create another layer. And this one will be for the water fill. And I can choose a blue color just to kind of make it more obvious now that I'm while I'm working. This color doesn't really matter for the end result though, because I will assign completely new uh, materials to the to the strokes later. But for now, while I'm working, maybe it's nice to kind of see a little bit the colors as well. All right, now I will create another layer and this will be for the city outlines. Then I'll do the city fill. By the way, uh, if I want to keep making these angled strokes, it gets a little bit more difficult here where the angle is kind of changing. So here's one tip how to rotate the view uh, around its Y axis. You can hold Ctrl and Shift down and then you can rotate the mouse wheel. You will lose the reference image, but uh, that doesn't really matter here because uh, I see the outlines already. So now it's uh, easy to keep the diagonal angle going here. All right, I'm happy with that. And now, by the way, one thing uh, that I want to do is I want to put the 
uh, strokes below the outlines. So this layer order is actually a little bit confusing because if the layer is here on the bottom, then it's actually on top of the the layers that are above it. So that's kind of the opposite than how Photoshop, for example, works. But that's okay. I will just uh, take this up a little bit and now it went under the outlines. I will do the same for the water here as well. So I will take it up so that it disappears under the earth outlines here. Okay. And I will press one to get back to my reference image here and I will hide temporarily some layers so that I can see a bit better what I'm doing because the next thing I want to do is I want to do that kind of network on, on top of the earth here. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this network. I'm going to choose a white color for this one. And the thickness can be quite thick. And then I will just uh, create the small round node points first. And then I will connect them with the lines. Finally, I will create these arrows and then we are almost done here. Let's also remember to save every once in a while. Whiteboard example. All right, now we are ready with the drawings here and now it's time to turn them into curves so that we can render them. If I press F12 now to render this you can see that nothing is visible and that's because these grease pencil outlines don't show up in renders. We need to turn them into curves. So I will select uh, every layer one by one here and I will convert them into a Bezier curve. I can also press Alt C and choose Bezier curve that might be slightly faster. All right, they should now all be converted. And as you can see, they all have these keyframes in the timeline. And that's because uh, Blender does something really cool. It records automatically the order of the strokes and even the speed of uh, how fast we draw them. And they are keyframes now here in the timeline. And we can use those keyframes. So let me just hide the grease pencil layer now so that we can see the strokes here. And I will now uh, start to animate them in place by selecting a stroke first. Let's go to object mode to do that. I, I will select uh, the stroke that I want to create first and that's the outline of the earth. And then I can go to the modifiers and I can add a build modifier. And this build modifier will slowly draw in the stroke. And here I can define the start frame for the drawing and how long it should take and how long it should take uh, obviously depends on your audio track so if you know that your audio lasts two minutes then you can kind of do the math so two minutes for example would be 120 seconds times the frame rate 25 so that would be uh, 3000 frames for my whole animation here and then I when I consider how long uh, how many parts I, I have here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine parts. So if I divide 3000 with nine, I just use this as, as a calculator. <laughs> it's going to be about 333 per part. So that gives me some idea how long uh, my movements or how long my drawings should la last. So about maybe on, on average uh, 300. So let's make this last, I, I will make it last like 200 frames because it's uh, it, there's not that much to draw in that area. So I will make it a little bit less than some other parts. But yeah, now that line is drawn during 200 frames. And after that, I will select my next thing. And that's the country outlines here. I will add the build modifier there. And now I will start from frame 200. And those country outlines can maybe last uh, 300 frames. So now I'm starting from 200. And after 200, I'm drawing the country outlines during uh, 300 frames. And then at frame 500, I can draw the water. So add the build modifier, start at frame 500. And that can last maybe 400 frames. 
because there's a lot to draw so maybe even 500 frames and yeah during frame 1000 they should be in place and then we can do next uh, city outlines here add modifier build start from frame 1000 and those can last maybe maybe let's make it 400 frames At this point uh, I want to also animate my camera because then I want to come kind of zoom out and show these uh, arrows here. So uh, first of all I will align my camera to this view by going to view, align view, align active camera to view and let, let me move my camera to the starting position by pressing G Z Z. So I will frame the starting position here. Let me also hide the background image by the way I don't really need it at this moment. So this is where I'm going to start. So I will go to 2100 where the network has been drawn. I will add a location keyframe for the camera there. Then it should last maybe, maybe I'll back it 100 frames. Uh, I will back it out for 100 frames. So 2200 and then I will hit G Z Z and I will bring it uh, out and then I will hit G and just frame it a bit better something like that and then I will lock it in place with another keyframe by hitting I location so now there's this camera animation going on and while the camera animation is maybe halfway through I will already start to draw these outlines so add modifier build and I can start at the frame 2150 2150 and they can get drawn relatively quickly. So maybe during 300 frames, let's make it 350. That brings us to 2,500. So now I will move to frame 2,500. And finally, let's do these outlines. And they will start at 2,500 and they can last 500 frames. So that brings us to 3,000. Okay, so now we still need to solve the problem that nothing is rendering at the moment. If I press F12, uh, uh, the render is still empty. So to do that, we need to add some thickness to these lines. So I will select a line here and then I will go to the curve settings and I will use a full fill mode. I have noticed that if you use the half mode, sometimes it looks like it's kind of drawing the, the line twice, but that using the full mode solves that issue and then I will uh, increase the bevel depth and this will basically be the thickness of the of the outline and then I can give this a material so I will go to my materials and I will click new and then I can think about the colors so for the outlines I will just use black and I will use a shadeless I will make it shadeless so that there's no glossiness in the strokes I think it looks the best without any without any highlights and then I can simply uh, select other strokes here for example this one I will give it the same material and I will give it also a full fill and I will give it some depth as well and then we can make a test render and see and now there's uh, already something visible I think I will increase the thickness even a bit more maybe I'll go to 0 0.010 maybe even a little bit more that can be 12 maybe these both can be 12 all right i'm happy with that and then let's do the water here so for the water i will make it 12 as well and full and then let's give them a material and this one can be a blue material so take those down and I will take the saturation down a little bit like that and make it shadeless and now I will just uh, do the same for the rest of the stuff and I will speed up this video a little bit so that you don't have to wait so much Alright, our materials are now all set 
and finally uh, we can choose the world color so do we want to have a transparent background or do we want to uh, do this on a white background if you want a white background you can set it here uh, use the paper sky and choose a, a horizon color but um, in my case i think i will just render it on top of a transparent background and that way i can place it on any kind of uh, background later on if i want so now i will just make my render settings in order here and i don't need any of these things i think Maybe it will speed up my work a little bit, but I will set the alpha to transparent though, so that I get the uh, transparency. And let's see, that looks fine. Now I'll just choose my render location. And I think that's it. Now I can simply hit the animation button and Blender will start to render my scene. All right, here's the finished render and I can place different backgrounds uh, under it because this is whiteboard, maybe it should be white, uh, but it doesn't have to be obviously. wraps up this tutorial I think this is a pretty cool technique thanks for watching and see you next time on fastertutorials.com